right, welcome to the N1RIK 444-200 repeater. This is over in Johnsonville, North Carolina. Uh, might look a little bit Mickey Mouse, but uh, this right here is a little GR300 enclosure that you can really see in here. You get three GM300s, one for a receiver, one for transmit, and one for the link radio. This ties into the hub repeater for the Carolina 440 network up in Raleigh, about 40 miles away. Some power supply. You can see the Hamtronics LNK 450 preamp and Motorola T1504 pass reject duplexers. I got the repeater set for about 30 watts. It's pretty sensitive. I just got a desense worked out, just replaced a, a jumper to the polyphaser. And here's my tower. Not really as much of a tower as it is a tree. And if you can see at the very top, let's see here if I'm zooming in right. Should probably have to go further back. I have a Comet CA7, what is it? Uh, CA712EF 9 dB gain antenna. This is the link antenna here for, to the Carolina 440 network. It's a six element Yagi uh, on a 13 foot pole. I got the cable trench back to the outdoor cabinet. That provides our, our link. Let's see here if you can see the antenna now here at the top. It's pretty sunny out so it's hard to see. There you go. And the blows a little lean there in the winds at 45 feet. And ground elevation here is 486 feet, so we've got about 270, uh, 207 feet height above average terrain. So, that cover is pretty good, about 20 to 30 miles mobile. And it's linked with um, about uh, 12 other repeaters. So this provides coverage down into the uh, Sand Hills region of North Carolina, also including parts of Fayetteville, Southern Pines, Pinehurst, and uh, areas around Sanford, and a little bit to the north, and part of the 421 corridor up to Siler City. So, so there you have it, folks. All Mickey Mouse out. <laughs> Send one RAK.